Robert E. Cornish was an American biologist who almost brought dead people to life. Quickly after receiving his doctorate, he became involved in various research. One idea that always fascinated him was to bring dead people to life, which he believed was totally possible. By 1933, he had developed a very weird method of resurrection. He strapped dead people to a large seesaw-like machine and injected them with adrenaline and heparin to thin their blood. Then they were vigorously teetered to restore circulation. At the same time, oxygen would be blown into their mouth using a rubber tube. He attempted this bizarre experiment on multiple patients who had gone through heart attack, drowning, and electrocution, but could not find any success. Cornish did not lose any hope, as he believed that his experiment is not working because too much time had passed since the patient's death. Cornish thought that he needed to perfect his method before practicing on humans again. He turned his attention towards freshly euthanized dogs and acquired five of them. All the dogs were declared clinically dead. He quickly strapped them to his seesaw machine and started the procedure. To everyone's surprise, he was able to bring two of the five dogs successfully back to life. This was a big success for Cornish. There was still one big problem. Cornish needed a freshly dead person to prove that his experiment would work. After looking for more than 12 years, Cornish finally found a willing human candidate in a prison. A criminal murderer who was about to be executed with poisonous gas. His plan was to inject the patient with methylene blue to neutralize the poison once he is declared clinically dead, and then start the circulation using the same method. But he never succeeded in doing so, because the state of California turned down his request citing that if Cornish succeeds in bringing him back to life after the government has declared him dead, it would set the criminal free. Because under the double jeopardy clause of the United States Constitution, you can't persecute a person for a crime more than once. By the late 1950s, Cornish became too discouraged and retired from the active medical research.